Turn me there. I had to use my motorcycle jack to pick up that grab line. with that drive line for about 45 minutes. I didn't separate it and it was heavy. So I took this out there jack it up. Had to get some boards stack them up. Finally got it up high enough to where I could put it together. But yeah, it was a battle. I don't know why that key's on. Hmm. Not good. So yeah, I, I got a few little things I need to do. I need to put on the dust cover. I got the uh, inch in front of the throw out bearing and the inch in the back of the throw out bearing. So it's centered just like uh, the uh, factory recommended that you do with those clutches. So uh, I'm gonna have to take this stuff off so I can get up in there and feel it. Are we gonna get up inside the truck then? Uh, well, I am, yeah. You want me to film you inside the truck? Talking about the gears and whatever? Well, I'm not going anywhere. I got all my stuff laying around there. But uh, I can't get in there with this stuff on. No, that gets washed every night. Turn around and show your grease. That. Well, show my grease. <laughs> that gets Check washed. Check out my grease, ladies and gentlemen, because I'm a real greaser. That gets washed that, every night. Uh, camera's all fogged up. You're coming out clear on my end. Well, I can see that it's all fogged up. So I'm in my spandex underneath, ladies and gentlemen. I should put some clothes on <laughs> before I get up in the truck. So is it pretty much done? Pretty much? Pretty much, yep. Yeah. I don't hear any weird noises. So how many hours do you think you have totally invested in it? I don't know, maybe 15 or something like that. But if you were to pay a shop to do it, how much would be pay be paying in labor? Two hundred bucks an hour minimum. <laughs> oh gosh. Two hundred times fifteen. Yeah, that's three. Plus a two thousand dollar clutch. So, do the math. That'd be uh, ten. That'd be two thousand. Two thousand, and half of that would be one thousand. So it'd be five grand. There you go.